Now, everybody remember, if he is able to join us, I will be creating this little nativity live tomorrow, tomorrow at lunchtime. So you'll be Here able, I am, sister. So you'll be a baker to make it. Hello, Ari. Hello, Ari. Hello. Can you hear me? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. We worked it out, sister. We sure did. I'm so glad you are with I'm me so tonight. I'm so glad you are with me tonight. I'm glad to be with you. It's such a blessing. Now, Eric. Now, Eric. Tomorrow at noon. I'll be making this little nativity set. I'll be set. making this little nativity set. Yes. Live. Live. Okay. And I invited you on tonight. And I invited to you on tonight to, to explain the nativity to us. Okay, that sounds really good. Now everybody, let me now everybody let me special introduce special you to our special guest. Wait a minute, Robert. Wait a minute, Robert. Turn off your light. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. There we go. I may need to turn mine off. Can you I may off? need to turn mine off. Can you turn mine off? Okay. Everybody, let me tell you who's joining us. Everybody, so let me tell you who's joining us. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. <laughs> His name is Pastor. His name is Pastor Aaron Cardillo. He is the senior pastor. He is the senior pastor of Open Door Independent of Church. Open Door Independent Church in Marion, yes, ma'am. South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. And he is a special and he of is a special friend of mine. Now, Eric, Miss Linda, you're a I very special friend of ours. What I need you to do is tell us to do is tell us about the nativity. Okay, you know, Miss Linda, thank you so much. You know. Thank you so much set. for inviting me. To and the nativity set. We have the we Mary, have the Joseph, the Mary, the Joseph, and the babe, and the babe. And usually we have and usually we have men, three wise men and sometimes mm -hmm. animals and sometimes animals. Yes. Now explain why we Well, let me first of all read us some scripture, if that would be okay, to start yes. tonight with the uh, nativity. Yes. We'll read some scripture out of the book of Luke. This is the Bible story, the Christmas story, out of the book of Luke. And I'm going to read you just a few passages of scripture. Luke 2, the Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, Miss Linda, I want to share with you and with everybody tonight the fact that this nativity is very special because it's one of the greatest events that ever took place on this earth. And that is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, to this earth. And when we think about who was there, of course, Mary and Joseph were there. 
And they both were very important in this and the Savior's birth. Of course, Mary was a virgin, and Mary was having the Son of God. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and that she conceived in her womb, and she was having the Son of God. This was not Joseph and Mary's son, but this was Mary's son on earth, but this is God, it's God's son, Jesus, that came to the earth. And when we think about it, the animals were there because Mary and Joseph went to the little town of Bethlehem to have Jesus. And when they went to Bethlehem, the Bible says there was no room for them in the inn. And so Mary and Joseph went to a stable or a cave. And the reason we have animals at the nativity is because when Mary and Joseph went to that cave, they went to where the animals were where the animals were feeding, where the animals were at. And that's where Mary had the baby Jesus, not in a motel or not in some nice room, but in a barn or in a stable. Many times we look at that as being a cave. And that's where Jesus was born. That's why the animals were there. And I think the animals were also there to give glory to the newborn king, the Savior that came. The Bible tells us a little bit further down in the scripture I read to you tonight that uh, the shepherds came. The angels came. The angel came to the shepherd, and the angel sent the shepherds to see the baby Jesus. So the shepherds went, just poor shepherd boys. Uh, of all the places and of all the people that, that would have gone to see Jesus, it wasn't great kings, it wasn't men of great wealth, and it wasn't even the religious leaders of that day. It was shepherd boys out in the field. And the angels came to them by night and told them of the coming Messiah. What a glorious day that was. That they came to see the baby Jesus born in Bethlehem. And you know something else that a lot of people don't think about is that the wise men did come, but the wise men didn't come to the stable, and they didn't come to where Jesus was born. But the wise men came almost two years later to Jesus' house to see him. They traveled many, many miles, and they traveled for weeks and weeks. And Jesus was almost two years old when the wise men came to see him. And they came, to, yes, ma'am, they came to Joseph and Mary at the house and came into the house. And there is where they met Jesus two years later. Isn't that amazing? And we used the wise men at the nativity. Yes, we used the wise men at the nativity, but they were not actually there. But Joseph and Mary and the shepherds and then all the animals were there when Jesus was born. What an amazing and wonderful truth. And why did Jesus come to this earth? He came so that you and I could accept him as our Lord and Savior, be born again, and be saved by his marvelous grace. See, Jesus didn't stay a baby but he went all the way to Calvary and went to the cross of Calvary and shed his blood and died on the cross for our sins and rose again from the grave so that we could be saved by his marvelous grace. You know, Miss Linda, we rejoice in the Christmas season because of the nativity, because of the birth of Jesus Christ. We sure do. We as Christians rejoice. Hey, Jesus is the reason for the season. And we have yes, much to praise him for, much to yes, rejoice in yes. because of Jesus Christ. Isn't it a blessing that we can give gifts to one another? But yes. the greatest gift that man could yes. ever have is to have the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a glorious gift and what a glorious Savior that we have. And we rejoice in him today and rejoice in what Jesus did for us so that we could be born again so we could have our sins forgiven through him. What a beautiful nativity. And you're doing a great job with that handmade nativity. I like that. You're doing a wonderful job with that. And we appreciate so much you letting us just take a few minutes tonight and just share with you the wonderful story of the nativity. Thank God for that beautiful. I want to just kind of pan over here and show you that behind me, I'm sitting in our church, and behind us is the beautiful table my wife made. Uh, and decorated this table with. And we have the nativity scene on there as well. Of course, it doesn't end with just the nativity because right behind it, you see the cross uh, where Jesus would go and shed his blood and die for our sins. What a wonderful Savior. 
What a glorious Savior. The greatest gift I could ever receive is knowing him as my Lord and Savior. And what wonderful scripture. That's the nativity. And uh, folks have them in their yards. People have them all kinds of places. Uh, but they need to have Jesus in their heart and in their life. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I thank you so much for teaching us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for teaching us this. Yes, ma'am. And and I need to add the shepherds. I need to add the shepherds. Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Now, yes, the shepherds were right. Now, Eric, before you go, now, Eric, before you go. I could not make it without I the could Lord. not make it without the Lord. Yes, ma'am. If somebody sees this video. If somebody sees this video who does not know the Lord. Who does not, not know the Lord or has not accepted him. Yes. Could you please tell us how could you please we can tell accept us how Lord? we can accept the Lord? Yes, ma'am, I would be honored to do that. First of all, let me say that Jesus is the one and only way of salvation. There's no other way than by the blood of Jesus Christ. Again, let me remind us that Jesus went all the way to Calvary, and at Calvary's cross, he shed his blood. Jesus lived on this earth sinless, went to Calvary and shed his blood and died for our sins, and then rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave so that we could have the opportunity to be saved. And the Bible reminds us that all are sinners. All need repentance. And if you're listening to this live video today and you've never trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, Jesus has done everything you need to do that needed to be done for you to be saved. The only thing you have to do as a lost individual, as a person who's never trusted in him, is believe on him. And just simply ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and come into your heart and save you by his grace. And he will do that. He paid it all so that we could be saved. And he's done everything that needs to be done. We just simply need to believe on him and trust in him as our personal savior. For with the heart, the Bible says, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And I like what the book of Romans says. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And it's just as simple as bowing your head, asking Jesus to forgive you of your sins, asking him to cleanse you and make you whole in him and receiving him as your Lord and Savior. I believe in repentance, and that is just confessing your sins and turning from them and believing that Jesus can save you by his grace. That's the way of salvation. Only through him can men be saved today. And what an opportunity for you, if you don't know him today, just to trust him and be saved by his grace. Yes. Oh, thank you, Eric. Amen. Oh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much for inviting me on. I appreciate that. And I appreciate what you're doing. It's such a blessing to see your smiling face. And it's such a blessing to have you and Brother Robert uh, in our church. We appreciate y'all so much. You're a great blessing to us. And I am so grateful to have your friendship. I am so grateful to have your friendship. You've been such a blessing to me. Bless your heart. I appreciate that. I sure do. Now, now let me say before I go, let me say. Everybody, if you need to know more. If you need to know more. About accepting the Lord. About accepting the Lord. And understanding the Christmas story. And understanding the Christmas story. After the broadcast. Yes. After the broadcast. I'm going to post Eric's I'm contact to information. Post Eric's contact information. That's Get good. in touch with him. Get in touch with him. He will be able to ask more will questions. Be able to answer more questions and help you. And help you to have a relationship with the Lord. To have Jesus a relationship Christ. with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he yes, ma'am. truly is because the he truly is the reason for this season. For this season. Yes, he is. He absolutely is. Yes, ma'am. 
Thank you. And let me say Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Miss Linda. It's so good to be with you tonight. And Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and everybody listening today. Thank you so much for listening in. Thank you again for the opportunity. I hope we can do this again sometime. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. All right. And thank you and so much. Remember, and everybody tomorrow, remember, tomorrow, tomorrow at lunchtime, at lunchtime I'm, going to teach I'm, you how to make I'm going to teach nativity. you how to make this little nativity. Because you know, because you know, for the best, for the best, it's just gotta be handmade. Gotta be handmade. Yes, it does. Great. Bye -bye. Amen. Bye-bye.